Hello, let's talk about how to check student attendance. So if we're looking at today and we want to see who's absent today, we want to call parents or guardians and see where the student is at. There's a couple of different ways to do that. From your front page in PowerSchool, first thing, make sure you're under your school and not under district office. Most of these reports will only work in your school itself um, because we count attendance in the school campus, not at the district. So check that first. Then there's a report and a view. Both will show you the exact same information, but let's look at the view first. So the very first thing on the left panel is attendance. You should be going to this every day to do this teacher attendance submission status, but I wanna show you if you just go one tab over, you'll see the view of who is absent today. So if you look, there's 13 students counted absent so far today. It'll show you their names, and then it'll show you the, the code that was used. So all of these are different periods, if you're wondering what those are. So this would be like middle school period one, elementary only has one period. Uh, these are the different high school periods. So these are guardian ex excuse. There's actually a note in there of why that student, if you see that little note icon, why that student is not there. So this is a really quick and easy way you can also click on the student, it'll take you to the student itself, or you can click on contact information and it's gonna pop up with who you can call. And it should be in the order, as long as it hasn't been changed, of where the parents, the order the parents wanted to be called. So this one has mother, then father, and then grandmother. And that in registration is the order that they said they wanted to be called if you were calling them for anything. So just know that. The other place you can go for this exact same information is just to go to system reports here on the left side. So if you click system reports, the very first report is absentee. And this is a single day report. Go ahead at some point when you don't have a lot to do and play with the rest of these. You might find a report that you really like. Um, there's one, this is gonna do multiple days. There's some that do it by student. If your director asks you, gosh, how many times has this student been absent? There's a, there's a report that does that. So just know that all of this stuff is here. You can hit the question mark box up here on any PowerSchool product, hit system help, and you could type in attendance reports or whatever question you have, and it's going to give you information on how to run those reports and what they each mean. But for this absentee report, you're just gonna click it. You should not have to change anything on the report unless you're doing something specific. So unless your director says, I only wanna see high school students, or you just wanna see high school or just pre-K, you could check those boxes and it'll just pull by those grades. Or let's say you just wanna know who hasn't called in, who hasn't had a, an excused absent as far as illness or guardian excuse, you wanna know who's not present, but we don't know why. You could click that zero and then hit submit and it's just gonna pull that code. And then this is the date, so it's gonna to default to today. If you wanted to change that, you could totally change it to yesterday or two days ago. Um, and then you're gonna hit submit. It's gonna take you to your report queue. If you're ever looking for your report queue, it's this little piece of paper at the top. Um, when you hit refresh, it'll tell you you have a report there by giving you the little check mark box. Um, but if you hit view next to the report, it's going to show you the exact same thing we saw a minute ago. This is just printable, easily printable. Um, I don't know why all the phone numbers don't show up on here. It, I'm going to have to check that. But you can click the student just like you could on the other one, and it'll take you to that student in PowerSchool. So you'll see that student. While I'm on this student, I want to point something else out really fast, and that is these icons next to the student all have meaning. So this little group of people is just a really fast way to pop up contacts if you're looking for a student. Same thing, it's in the order that the parents put it in, that they wanted the contacts to be called if there was an emergency. And then there'll either be this 504 button or there might be a piece of paper um, next to this. The paper would be IEP students, so it would take you to the documents. And then the 504 would obviously just take you to 504 documents. Um, and then sometimes there's a medical alert button if the student has a medical issue and you can click on that and see what that is. Just reminders about all of that good attendance stuff. One last thing to show you, and that is, I just discovered this on the other day. You all may be way faster than me and I've already figured it out. 
But on the setting side of the page, you'll see this little wheel. You can turn this attendance taken on. So you'll see this little box. You can say view attendance. It'll take you right to that teacher attendance submission status. So just a little shortcut that I happened to find the other day. You may be aware of it already, but if not, you might like that. Anyway, if you have any questions or concerns or need to ask me for something else, please let me know. I'm always more than willing to make these little videos to show you how to see things so that you have them available. Have a great day.